Ready, set, go. Good morning, everyone. Happy Friday. It's Friday. Woo! And I'm heading back to work. Yay! I am so excited and overjoyed. Yay! Woo! I'm wearing my Doctor Who shirt, so I am I am a little happy today, so it's a good day. And we're having a PJ Friday for Alec. Like, he's just like, I'm not having this. I want to be in my PJs. I'm not changing. Whatevs. So, we are going to get some coffee. Maybe get Mama a donut and just relax and have a good, easy morning. It's kind of sad. It's kind of bittersweet. I mean, we had no plans of going, but we're seeing everybody in Seattle. Everybody's kind of walking around Seattle, enjoying all that Seattle has to offer and getting ready for Vlogger Fair. And I'm like, ugh, I want to go. And I know this year has had some major changes, some major up and downs, and it's kind of derailed a lot of our plans and stuff. But next year would be fun to go, or sometimes soon would be fun to go. I really want to I really want to get to know this community more, the YouTube community, and just see what what's out there and just maybe go to one or two of them just to enjoy it and stuff so but I really think I would enjoy vlogger fair more just because the fact of it's so family orientated I mean and I love Chris Perlow I mean the guy's the guy's brilliant um I, he's pretty funny um but it'd just be fun to meet everybody and see everybody and just kind of be around all that environment so what do you think Alec yeah <laughs> you're in blanky mode huh yeah can you say hi can you give everybody a kiss <laughs> Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Yeah. Can you wave? Yeah, you're just relaxed this morning, huh? Blinky makes you very relaxed. He's had that Blinky forever. Ever. That was like the first one he's ever gotten. And I'm surprised that thing is... I see you staring at me. I see you staring. I see you looking this way. Looking this way. I'm sorry, that was horrible. But yeah, a blinky has survived. I am amazed it has survived. So, well, let's get some coffee. Let's get Mama doing it. I know that'll make her so happy to wake up too. Let's get back home and unfortunately get ready for work. What was that? Oh, you want to get one too? Oh yeah. Can you say yeah? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Can I get an oh yeah one one oh yeah? Just one. Can I get a woohoo? Please. Alec has decided to pack his own box, huh? Are you being a good packer? You're packing too, huh? What are you packing? Your stuff, your plates, and your bowls. In your own box. Whew. Good job, bud. Hey, guys. So I am just getting some stuff done, as you can see over there in that craziness. There are boxes here. So today is one of those days where I just want to edit the vlog and I just want to get it up. Like that's, that's all I want to do. But Final Cut is not letting me do it. So for some reason it accidentally exported or it stopped an import halfway through whatever it was doing but it wasn't showing it and then when I went to export the whole video because it let me edit just fine when it I went to go export the video it said it couldn't export because some clips are still being imported so then I waited another hour and nothing happened it never said that import was complete it never said to eject the camera or anything it was just that nothing happened so then finally, I just closed out a Final Cut. I opened it back up because I was like, the last thing I want to do is edit all of this again because I just edited. Don't want to do it again. So I opened it back up and it I had to re-import my stuff from my camera. But then it let me do it just fine. It let me, it let me edit and export just fine. Well, then it got stuck at 47% just now. And course as soon as it did that I was looking back through and realized that I had some stuff I had to fix like some volume issues so I had to go back in and change it but it wouldn't let me stop exporting so now it's stuck at 47 percent even though I am exporting a new version of the video that's what I have to say about that <sighs> meanwhile I don't think Alex took a nap 
I think he just was up there playing, which was is fine, but it's just it's going to be a long day. <laughs> I was supposed to go upstairs and go through some more stuff upstairs, and I just don't want to do it. I just would rather come downstairs and have a lazy mom moment and maybe put on a movie so that I can be in the kitchen uninterrupted and pack a little bit. And I woke up this morning. Okay. It started at like 7 o'clock this morning when I woke up, stressed out about things that, like, about things I needed to put on my to-do list. Like, I woke up this morning thinking, I need to go to the dentist, I need to take Alec to the dentist because if, I, I can't do that after the baby's born, like, it's going to be too much work. So, that was what woke me up this morning, and then I had to sit there and think about it. I couldn't go back to sleep, so I just sat there and thought about how I need to go to the dentist. I don't. I can wait. I mean, it's fine. I don't have any issues with my teeth. Like, they are fine. I can wait until after the baby is born and after everything settles down a little bit more to go see the dentist for a cleaning. Like, it's not even that big of a deal. So, that's what woke me up. And then, Tyler runs on, like, full cylinder. All cylinders go from, it seems like, the moment he wakes up. At night, he starts to kind of slow down a little bit, and I am the complete opposite. In the morning, I am like, don't even talk to me. Like, don't even try to get anything important out of me. Don't try to ask me any questions, nothing. Just no talking, which is usually why I don't film until nap time, because I am just dead to the world until probably about 11 or 12. So, I mean, I can function. I just, it's not pleasant. So, I come downstairs and instantly we have to talk about packing and all this stuff and I'm just like, and I get it, he goes to work and he doesn't get to talk to me about that stuff until nighttime when he's down, you know, when he's starting his decline and so he wants to get it all done while he's still fresh and whatever. And I get that, but I just am like, I can't handle it today. <laughs> so, there was that. Now the editing issue and the no napping. So, alright, I'm going to go, because it's been four minutes. How does that even happen? And, um, I will talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, for any of you who have ever been pregnant before, you will understand why a wedge pillow is the greatest invention in the world. And I thought I had lost mine, and I was so sad. Oh my gosh. Because regular pillows just don't work the same way. They take up too much space. They fall off the bed. It just doesn't work out so well, but I found my pillow and I'm so happy. Oh my gosh, I am so happy. Also, if I look a little disheveled, I've just done my inversion stuff where I feel like a mountain goat, basically, trying to flip a baby. <laughs> like The instructions that I've been reading are like, put your hips uh, on pillows so that they're a foot and a half above your head. And I'm thinking, foot and a half above my head, but my head's on the floor, so I have to be like this. And then the other one, I have to put my knees on the couch and then bend like this down. Insane. Insane. So my head's pounding just a little bit. <laughs> but apparently as long as it's mild, it's fine. You want to say goodnight? Can't just one time say goodnight? Just one time? No? Really? Can you say goodnight? No. Say thanks for watching. No? no. You having fun? No. Go figure. Okay. Bye. Bye. Just go ahead and click subscribe. You know you want to. Why are you hesitating?